Welcome to NetTouch. I am your host, Jeffrey Way, and in today's video quick tip, we are going to take a look at the HTML5 features that you can and really should be using in all of your projects right now without having to worry about uh, clashing with older browsers or anything like that. So I'm going to switch to TextMate where I have prepared just a sample web page that we can use. So as you see, we have a doc type, uh, 4.0. 01 strict and a head tag, some styles, some sample data, and we're referencing jQuery. Let's see how we can improve upon this. The first step is the doc type. A long doc type. We don't even need this anymore. We can just switch this to declare a doc type as HTML. And that's it. And this will work in any browser. You can check even Google.com uses it. It's fine. It'll just fall back to uh, whatever is necessary for older browsers. The next step is, you see this meta type right here where we're setting the char set equal? Uh, this isn't necessary either. We can actually shorten this. So we can do meta char set equals utf-8, and that's it. And then we're done. So I can get rid of that. And already, we're shortening our code. Our file size is smaller, and it makes for much cleaner code. The next step is here, obviously, you would probably want to reference a external style sheet, but if you're doing it inline for some reason, or embedding it, uh, you see style type equals text slash CSS. With HTML5, we can get rid of the type. It's implied that it's CSS, so we just get rid of that entirely. Clean our code. Uh, next step, let's come down to the bottom first, and the same thing with style uh, holds true for script tags, so we can just get rid of this. And you don't need to worry, you can get rid of this in your projects right now. Just go into your projects, get rid of it, smaller file size. Uh, next step is there there aren't too many things that you can do without having to worry about relying on JavaScript. So for example, if we want to make this a little more semantic, this is our header, we can wrap it within a header. Now, this is going to work for most browsers. The problem is, Internet Explorer doesn't understand what's, what some of these HTML5 elements are. So when it comes across an element that it doesn't understand, it's not going to render it properly. So for example, header here, we would need to specify that header should be display block. Okay, and that'll make sure that all browsers render that correctly as uh, a block level element. And in fact, many browsers already do this. For example, a div is naturally uh, set to display block in your browsers, and that's because if you actually check your browser's default style sheet, you'll find a section where it actually declares div uh, along with some other elements, display block. But some browsers don't, so you need to make sure that you get all of your HTML5 elements and uh, make sure that it displays as a block. Now, IE uh, won't understand that anyways because it still has no idea what a header is, so you would actually need to do script. Notice I'm just doing normal script tags. Uh, in your JavaScript, you would need to create those elements. So you would do document.create element, and then you would create a header. And that actually somehow triggers Internet Explorer into understanding it, and then it'll render correctly. Uh, Remy Sharp has actually made it much easier, and it's a very popular script right now. It's called HTML5 Shiv. So you could simply reference that, and it's stored in uh, Google Code, and you simply reference it right there, and that will take care of it for you so you don't have to do it yourself. And it also adds a new ability that they just added for printing. Uh, the problem before was when you would print a page using HTML5, it wouldn't recognize that. Uh, so it just displayed really strangely. This solves that, so it's something to consider. But do know if you're going to use these, you, your website then becomes dependent upon JavaScript. So think about that before you move forward. However, with doc types and styles and changing your, uh, your meta types, you can do that right now. So let me know if you have any questions, and we can talk more in the comments. Bye.